Are you also here for the paid social experiment? Uh, thanks. so good at making everything awkward. Hey, this is the paid social experiment, right? The one that pays $500? Yeah. Hi, I'm Devin. Nice to meet you. And he does it once again. Dude, you are the opposite of a chick magnet. Do, do you know what this experiment's about? No. Oh, hey, I... what's your name? Why do you care? Well, if we're going to be in here for a long time, we might as well get to know each other. I'm Ethan. Hi, I'm Devin. You already said that, and I don't care. Wait, wait you don't care about me or him? Both. Alright, the experiment will start shortly. Thank you for your help at Aculus Research Labs. I'm sure that with your help, we will be able to further advance the study of the human mind. What exactly are we supposed to do? I'm not very clear on what's going on. I can assure you, Mr. Wolski, that everything will be perfectly fine. That doesn't answer his question. As I said, the experiment will start shortly. Toodles! Dude, could you stop being weird for like five seconds? Hey, why are you being such a jackass? Just let him be. Look at him, he's not normal. I'm just trying to help him out. You are helping literally no one. You can come sit over here if you want. Here, take a selfie with me. You're not supposed to have that. So? I don't care. Why do you? It's, it's the rules. See, I told you he's weird. Oh, shut up! What are you writing? Um, nothing. Short story? No. Po poetry? No. Short film? No. Documentary? No. What? Love letter? Jesus Christ, dude, shut up! No, no. Great. My phone died. Now what do I do? Would you shut up? I'm trying to count the holes in the ceiling. 587, 588. No, she's right. This experiment should have started a long time ago. Hello? Anybody out there? Would you be quiet? You let us out, please? Great, now I have to start all over again. We've been in here for four hours. What is your problem? She probably just has low blood sugar. I, th I think we should start to ration our food. This isn't the apocalypse. I'm not rationing anything. We don't know how long we're going to be in here. It is a good idea. Cheetos. I have a salad. What exactly is in that salad? Um, it has spinach, artichoke, olives, um, paprika, blueberries. Oh, oh my yeah, goodness. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah? No. Okay. Well, I have two Red Bulls and.
gotta pee. Well, maybe you shouldn't have chugged two Red Bulls, you idiot. Those were mine. You tried to take them from me. Find me food? No, not yet. I have crackers. Can I have some? Yeah, just come over. I found blankets. What are you doing? I'm trying to see if I can find any food or even some way to get out of here. What if this is one of those experiments where they see if we can escape the room? Or one of those experiments where they try to see how stressed someone can get if locked in a room for too long. I'm looking for a mic. I honestly doubt that there's an old bearded guy in a dark room wandering us with nothing better to do with his life. <laughs> yeah, I bet he isn't even married. Ooh, I bet he's got sticky fingers from all the Cheetos and Mountain Dew. He probably has deep mommy issues if he has a job like that. But he has some gross name like Greg. Greg! Greg! Oh, I bet he's gonna oh. choke on his own food and die like that. Wow, great job, Devin. I'm sorry. So, um, where are you guys from? Here. Here. What's your home life like? What? Adequate. Ass. And what are your families like? This was all a personal question. Well, I figured since we're gonna be stuck in here for a while, we might as well get to know each other. This is right, we'll be stuck in here forever. Being stuck in here forever wouldn't be that bad. Why? Because my family sucks. <laughs> you think your family sucks? My mom's a gold digger and dumps every guy she meets once she finds someone richer. I think I've got it worse. At least your dad isn't a drunk. My dad's an accountant and my mom's a school psychiatrist. I have lunch with her. Wow, you've got it so rough. Well, what's your relationship like with your dads? Which one? They both suck. It's hard enough not to get made fun of for having two dads, and they won't let me play football, and they control everything I do. Oh yeah, my mom is totally crazy too. She just keeps saying how I will never find a good boy if I don't show my true beauty. I'm Dietrich. Wear this. Do that. Be a cheerleader. Put on more makeup. Don't touch your gross boys. Eat less. You're fat! Not on the cliche stuff. Controlling parents, man. Yeah. My dad makes me go to bed early. What do you You know what? What's with all the personal questions? What about you? What about me? What's your life like? <sighs> Less than adequate? We just spilled our guts to you. Details. My mom's a lawyer. My dad's a news editor. And I haven't spoken to them in four years. Why? They wanted me to be a doctor, and I did it. So I left the house when I was 16, and I live with my aunt now until I can afford my own place. Man, I haven't seen my dad since my nightly talking. Man, I miss him. Dude, Dude what, what the, the f We're gonna die in here. Ethan will probably piss his pants first. What? You piss your pants when you die. Oh. Just go in there. That's disgusting. More disgusting than peeing your pants? Devin, I don't know what freaky stuff you do at your house, but I'm not pissing in a plant. Oh, we usually use the toilet. Did you ever find out what she was writing in that notebook? No. It's probably her diary. What are you doing? What are you doing? You'll wake her up. So why did you do that exactly? I'm bored and she's been writing in it every chance she gets. That doesn't mean you have the right to I'm invade. not invading her privacy. I just want to get to know her better. 
some question. What the hell is this? What, is she like analyzing our behavior? Depressed? Addictive? Aggressive tendencies? If I wanted to hear this, I would have gone to a psychologist. Why were you going through my stuff? Why were you writing about us? I don't know what imbecile means, but I'm not that. Guys, if we can all just... Do you work for down. them or something? No! Are you part of this stupid no, experiment? No, it's just that I'm studying to become a psychologist! You what? You decided we were messed up enough to be part of your stupid study? Trish, please. Shut up! Oh my god, why are you so cool with this? Not cool, Ida. Not cool. Hey, I think it's kind of cool that you're studying to be a psychologist. Thanks. And I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy. I don't really mind. That's because you're not normal. No, guys, I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy. Like, it wasn't fair to you and I should have asked before I psychoanalyzed you guys. And, and maybe it's because I've never understood why I am the way I am. And maybe me being a psychologist could help me understand why I am like this. It, like, it was never to make you feel bad. It was just for me to feel less pain about my parents. Hey, I guess we all have issues with our parents, right Trish? Fine, I forgive you. You have our own ways of dealing with things. My parents are adequate. Except for Devin. <laughs> hey, are you guys okay? Um, the person who was supposed to let you out of here last night, um, uh, he kind of died. And you guys were kind of left in here and forgotten about. He died eating hot Cheetos, by the way. His name was Greg. How long were we supposed to be in here for? You guys were scheduled only for eight hours. Uh, you guys have been in here for 24. What? It's daytime. You're kidding me. You didn't think once in those 16 hours something went wrong? We've been stuck in here starving. I really gotta pee. Why didn't he just use the plant? Does that mean we can go now? Yes. Are we still getting paid? Charge. I think you can survive without your phone for a little while. Oh, shut up, you idiot. Or should I say, imbecile. Please don't get sad. I was just joking. Sorry. <laughs> and what's so funny now, Mr. Imbecile? I still don't know what that means. <laughs> exactly my point. Hey, so I brought my car if you need a ride. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Cool. Race ya! I know, wait. Yeah? Do you want to go get breakfast? I'm, I'm famished. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a nice coffee place close to here. Awesome. Hey, what did your notes say about me? Um, um the subjects, uh, the subject shows some deep kind of antisocial behavior that limits his ability to make friends. Some would call him a freak. Oh. Um, but subject also is able to show deep compassion and ability to captivate me with his actions. It's actually kind of attractive. I think you're attractive too. Please don't make this awkward. I think you're adequate. <laughs> <laughs>